Hey guys, it's Annabelle. So I wanted to do our two week updates um, for you guys this week. I'm going to be doing videos on Thursdays um, and not Wednesdays, even though our weeks turn over on Wednesdays because Thursdays just are way better days to do videos. Um, okay, so I wanted to do little man's two week update. Um, he is such a big boy and I will upload um, the video that I did yesterday when he was actually two weeks old so that way you guys can see him and everything because um, he is busy eating right now um, and hopefully this won't be too long of a video um, so anyways he's such a big boy oh my gosh like I cannot believe how fast he is growing and just oh my gosh like um, he is over nine pounds now I don't know exactly ounces or anything like that but he is over nine pounds um, I've weighed like myself and then weighed him just like on our scale and um, so he's over nine pounds so he's growing great and just it's awesome um, he has not fit into newborn clothes at all um, his going home outfit I had to squeeze him in his going home outfit um, but newborn clothes do not fit um, they fit my daughter for at least a week or two um, with him um, newborn clothes do not fit him um, newborn diapers um, I actually ended up giving his diapers to my daughter to play with with her baby dolls because they just did not fit they were leaking everywhere and it just was a big huge mess so um, we are going to be doing um, cloth diapers with um, him as well um, but again um, I said it in a video way long time ago that um, for my daughter's baby showers we got so many um, disposable diapers that we had plenty to use with him so um, he is going to be using up the remainder of our disposable diapers and um, we have a ton so it will be a couple weeks yet before he actually starts cloth diapers um, but he is in the size one to two um, size of diapers, which is like, that's just crazy how big he is. Um, he is in some zero to three month clothes. Otherwise, the rest of his clothes and onesies are all three to six months. I can't believe that. I'm just like, he, he's two weeks old. Like, I just, like, that's just crazy. Um, my daughter usually was in a size up from her age. Um, so, um, when she was three months old, she was in six month clothes. When she was six months, she was in nine month clothes. Um, but he's already in three to six months clothes. So hopefully, um, he will just like keep growing awesome, but not go through clothes as much. Cause there's some clothes that we did get from friends and stuff that he's like, he's not even going to be able to wear. So there was lots of like cute zero to three month stuff that doesn't even fit him. So that made me kind of sad. Um, but as for sleeping, um, he's waking up about two times a night. Um, he usually wakes up between um, midnight and two. Um, we've been, we were putting him to bed at 10 o'clock. Now we're putting him to bed at nine or 9.30. Um, so then he's waking up anywhere from midnight to two o'clock and then anywhere from four to six o'clock in the morning. And then he usually sleeps until um, about nine-ish in the morning um, until he starts his wake up kind of time where he actually is up for a while. He's up about three times a day and the span that he is like up and alert and looking around is getting longer and longer. So that is exciting. Um, I need to be producing more milk for him. Um, he is cluster feeding, um, so hopefully he is able to get my milk supply up so he is getting what he needs. Because um, again, he is a big boy and he loves to eat. Um, he is having the like mustard colored seedy poop and everything. There's like no problems with bowel movements or um, urinating or anything like that. Um, he loves to be held. Um, and he loves to be just on like chest to chest and he's just, he's such a cuddle bug. My daughter was not really a cuddle bug. So I just, I love that he's like being so cuddly. Um, he, he is co-sleeping with me um, for the second half of the night. 
um, just he starts to kind of stir a little bit and just co-sleeping has helped um, him like continue to sleep through the night um, his umbilical cord fell off last Sunday um, there are still little like remnants of it like deep in his belly button and we've just been using um, alcohol and a little cotton um, ball to kind of clean that out um, just once a day is all that was recommended to me to do so we're just kind of cleaning it out making sure all that like comes out without any trouble um, his skin is done peeling um, from his neck down but he is still peeling um, on his like forehead and then just right in front on his hairline so we've just been using just a little a soft um, like baby brush to kind of help brush that away and we are using lotion um, when he was born he had super dry hands and super dry feet um, and then once we got home and stuff his chest and his back um, really started peeling and everything but he is all done peeling again except for just kind of like this area um, he has developed um, some like red bumps um, on his face this oh week and my daughter had the same thing um, and um, they did like diagnose hers as the milia um, and she did get some like steroid kind of cream to kind of take care of that um, we do not have an appointment until this next Wednesday, so we will see um, if it goes away, if it stays, or if um, he has to end up having the same kind of cream stuff. But he does have the little bumps, and it's all kind of like right here, um, and just a little bit on his neck. Um, we are having to clean out his neck rolls um, at least once a day. Um, he's He seems to be kind of um, like sweaty kind of also. Um, and so he's he's getting some like kind of like a little bit of stuff like in it, like the folds. So we do have to clean that out every day also. Um, we are <laughs> we are um, also we are keeping track of his routine. I said that last week. We are still doing that, and we will probably still continue to do that. Um, it's nice to see um, his change in when he's awake and when he's sleeping, how, like how long he's eating, um, when the cluster feeding started, like all of that is just so like awesome to be able to look back and see. Um, and the fun thing I'm doing is I am starting to plan um, what we're going to do for his monthly pictures for his first year. Um, we took monthly pictures of our daughter for the first year, and then we did 18 months, and now we'll do two years, three years, four years, five years, etc. Um, so we are going to be taking monthly pictures of this little guy. So um, I've started a list of kind of stuff that um, is kind of like boy-themed-ish, um, and like going off of like stuff we have and things like that um, and also like what time of year it is and things like that because his um, like 10 month 11 month 12 month pictures will be um, like Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas New Year's like that kind of stuff um, but so that's very very exciting um, to start planning out those pictures and what we're gonna do and um, just kind of be thinking about that is just so very exciting um, but yeah he's just he's such a big boy and he's such a good baby um, he doesn't really cry a whole lot unless he is super hungry and he's just he's absolutely amazing Wow. But yes, anyway, so I will upload the video that I did yesterday of him. Um, but anyways, you all have a wonderful day. And any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.